Esta zona ya es hecha y, y por gusto. Tanto repaso para nada. Ah, uh, Hello. Oh, finish. Finish? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's excellent. Okay, um. Okay, so you are ready to present, right? Okay. Yes? Um, no me has hecho presentación, lo vamos a decir así. Por... No, 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 you don't need presentation. No importa, ¿verdad? No, you, it's, it's, a, it's a conversation, so no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, tengo una duda con una palabra. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Ya le voy a decir. Okay. Cuál es. Ah, eh, available o cómo es? Available. Available es available. Nos hemos hecho, available. Nos hemos hecho trizas queriendo saber esa palabra. Really? Oh, yeah. yes. Available. Yeah, available. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, um, so I'm going to go see the other groups and if they're ready, then we're going to go ahead and present. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. Cool. Really, I'm glad to hear about it. Tell me about your experience with the pushes. Um, well, about my experience, um, the person actually was so attentive. They gave me all the information that I need. Uh, the price was in promotion, and I had a biggest discount. Um, I'm so really happy about that. Sounds great. Did you buy it? Uh, <laughs> sounds great. Did you buy it through payments plan? No, I didn't. I pay with cash, and I impressed with the packaging because it's colorful, different, and it's not ordinary. Oh, I think I saw this phone in an advertising to me, and I want to buy it too. Yes, um, you should buy it. Let's go together if you want. Finish. Okay. 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 I will put it the conversation in the chat. Yes, but it's only for that the conversation. <laughs> Can you see? Yes. Okay. Um, again. Okay. Hey, Beatrice, how are you today? I'm fine. How about you? Um, I'm fine too. And Beatrice, I want to tell you uh, recently about this cell phone. And I think that is great. The design uh, of the phone is so cool. And I would like to share with you uh, my experience. <laughs> really? I'm glad to hear about it. Tell me about your experience with the watches. What? Well, um, about my experience, um, the personal feeling was so attentive. Um, they gave me all the information that I need. Um, and the price was in promotion and I have a biggest discount. And I'm so really happy about that. Sounds great. Buy it through payment, please. Uh, no, I didn't. 
I pay with cash and I'm impressed with the package because it's colorful, different, and it's not ordinary. Oh, I think I saw it. It's for me and I seem to be, and I want to buy it too. You should buy it. Let's go um, together if you want. Hi guys, you ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Y nosotros entendimos que tenemos que hacer una conversación tomando de base las cuatro P, price. Eh. No, according to the vocabulary. This vocabulary. Yep. Mm. This vocabulary. Okay. No, nosotros hicimos en base a los 4P. Well, okay. Una, hicimos una conversación en base a la. Simple, una conversación simple, pero tomando de base a las 4. Price. Yeah, okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm. Um, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, girls ready? Yes. Yes? Okay, I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's hear the conversations. But before we do that, we're going to take attendance. Okay. Um, oh, just give me a moment. That just a moment. Give me a second, guys, because se me cerró este. Okay, but everybody had a chance, right? Everybody's ready? Yes. Yeah? yes. Okay. All right, perfect. Yes. All right. Perdón, chicos, que está lento esta cosa. Que hay de nuevo, ¿verdad? <ríe> Ahora se me están abriendo tres ventanas. Mi computadora. ¿eh? <ríe> Ahora ya se me están abriendo tres ventanas como traté de abrirlo. Entonces, ok, let me try this again. Okay. Um, all 
Okay, so Ani? Present. Okay, good. Ana Maria? Ana Maria? No, Ana Maria is here. Okay. Uh, Carolina? Present. Me oyen bien. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, Emily? Present. Hazel? Hazel? Joanna? Present, teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Jorge? Jorge? Karina? Present. Uh, Carla? Present, teacher. Carla? Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Kevin, uh, Santiago? Linda. Present. All right. Uh, welcome. Marlene? Present. Great. Miguel? Present. Excellent. Uh, Nelson? Present. Okay, very good. Norma? Present teacher. Great. Olga? Present teacher. Rocio? Present teacher. Eh, Rosa? Present. Uh, Suleima? Present. Okay. Um, Tatiana? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, um, Nelson A. Nelson A. No. Eh, I I see him, but I think that he's having problems with the connection. Omar. Present. Oh, I think. Okay. All right. I I see you. Okay. Great. Excellent. Uh, very good. And Omar, se me contestó, ¿verdad? Present. Present. Good, good, good. Suleima Melgar y José Rodrigo. Okay, Perfect. welcome. Okay, all right, guys, we're going to start then with the conversations, and we're going to do it in the order that, um, that I have here in group number one, okay? So according to this, group number one is Joanna, Jose Rodrigo, and Olga. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hello, Joanna and Jose. I made a new product. This product launched in next weekend. Wow, Olga. What is the brand name for your product? It sounds very amazing. The, the brand name is Silhouette 60. It's, it's hydrating body cream. Well, do you have any new product discount? Yes, by introduction, I have a 20% discount. And I have a lot of inventory. What is the packaging of your product? For the moment, the packaging is about the mother day and it's ready for delivery and sale in room. Who designed your product? I hired a professional designer for the, the special occasion to launch. Um, I can help you with the advertising at social media. Sound great, Joanna. Thank you for having me. I, be, I will be waiting for the launch of your product. Okay, yes, you are the event. So, uh, Joanna, bye-bye. Bye. bye. It's all That's teacher. all, teacher. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Very good job. Very good job. I heard all the words, and um, you guys sounded great. You did it very, very good. Okay. All right, let's go on to group number two, Linda and Rocio. Yes, okay, teacher. 
Okay. Okay. Um, hello, Rocio. Nice to see you again. Hi, Linda. Likewise, how are you? I'm great. What about you? Are you still working at the I'm doing good. And no, I have a new job. It's better than the last one. What deals your new job? I work with I work with one renowned brand name. I create its advertising campaign. Sounds good. It is expensive. Yes. It's expensive. That's the reason why you need to manage your public relations very well. What is the product you work with? It's a new beer. We need to have an extend inventory of this product on the supermarket. Currently, currently how is the transport? of this product. We use trucks to bring the products to the retail locations. Hey, by the way, do you know is your company is hiring personal selling right now? Yes, I will bring you the to the, the email to send the CVs. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> thank you. The, thank you. Very good girl. Very good girl. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Group number three is composed of Emily, Miguel, and Tatiana. Okay. Okay. Hello, good evening, co-workers. We're going to start our meeting. I want to know all the updates of the uh, new brand that we are going to launch soon. What about you, Miguel? Hi, guys. I have in me the advertising of headphones, and I think about the sale in retail location. I have an inventory 200 products and Emily can help use credit terms and Tatiana, the payment plans. Uh, yes, boss. Uh, actually, I have been working on the price of the new headphones. And we decide that it will be, it is going to be $50. But if you buy in the first week, is go it, the price or they have a, a discount for the 10% and free shipping. And we have designed to the, the new colors, we have black, a white and yellow and pink and so we have all the all the packaging okay i guess it is almost ready we hope that we can launch this new product next week thank you that's all for the thank you for your attention that's all thank you excellent bravo very good job. Okay, excellent. All right, let's go on to the next group, which is uh, Anna, Annie, and Marlene. Hello. Annie? Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. 
Yes, sir. Comment, please. Okay. Inicio. O la va a compartir. Ah, si quieres la comparto. No, no, no. Ah, tranquila. Okay. 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 Eh, Hi Marlene, how are you? Hello Annie, I'm very good, thanks. How does it that you have a new business which is the brand name? All right, the brand name is Warabsky. I have seen advertises about the brand. You have some kit on this cons. I need to buy it, uh, this for my mom. Of course, we have 20% in on all products and we have payment plan and credit. And some transportation service as a home delivery service to be a bar to pay it on life and send her home? Yes, we have and it's free for your purchase. Uh, I so, can send I can send you the online catalog and to see our products. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye. Only teacher. Okay, very good. Bravo. Okay, excellent. Next is uh, Carolina Norma. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, hello, Carolina. My company is about to launch a new product, a uh, bath soap, uh, the name is Ternura. With a packaging will be purple, hair, shopping design. I think the price uh, will have uh, accessible to the public, uh, 50 cents, and a special discount will be given for distributors. There will be payment plans and credit terms, but I need your help to do the promotion and which places to distribute them. Can you help me, please? Okay, Norma, you already talked her about the product and price. I talk about the place and promotion. Uh, place. It will be able uh, at different points of sale such as supermarket and convenience store. The product will have a good inventory in the warehouse which will be transported the, the, to the different points of sale. Promotion. Staff will be assigned for rep a public relation. The product will be advertised differently uh, by the different communication media. In addition, there will be personal sales with the clients. Finish. Hi. I thank you very much, uh, Carolina. Now I will make the plan. Thank you for your help. Bye, Norma. Bye, Carolina. Thank you. Excellent. Bravo, girls. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, in my in my list, I have group number six as Carla, but I don't know who is Carla's partner. Carla? Is Be Beatrice. Oh, okay, Beatrice. Okay, wonderful. Okay, Beatrice and Carla, go ahead. We're listening. Um, okay. Um, hello, Beatrice. How are you today? I'm fine. It's nice to see, it's nice to see you after so long time. How Thank about you. you? I'm fine too. And Beatrice, I want to tell um, recently about the cell phone. The brand is new and its name is Who's Phones. And I think that is great. The design uh, of this phone is so cool. And I would like to share with you that. Really? I'm glad to hear you about it. Tell me about your experience with the promotions. Um, well, about my experience, um, I'm saying 
the personal selling was so attentive. They gave me all the information that I need. The price was in promotion and I had a biggest discount. And I'm so really happy about it. Sounds great. Did you buy it through payment class? No, I didn't. I paid in cash and I impressed with the packaging uh, because um, it's colorful, different. It's not ordinary. Oh, I think I saw it in the advertising of the event and I want to buy it. Yes, you should buy it. Um, let's go to get it if you want. Great. Finish, teacher. Very good, excellent, very natural. Sounded very natural. Um, you guys were just, you know, going for it. Excellent, very, very good. Okay, okay next is group number seven, which is Nelson G and Omar. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Navarrete. Good morning, hello, how are you? I'm fine. I offering a a scan a scan of different flavors. Ah, oh, good, uh, good place. Uh, and places do you have? I require at one dollar whole gallon is two dollar and one gallon cuatro, four dollar. Okay. Do you have any special promotion? Yes, to, to the opening of the establishment, we are offering a two for one promotion. Where is the location on the place? We are location in Zona Industrial Santa Elena, local to Antiguo uh, Cotlán. Okay, very well. Uh, I will really be in the right away. Thank you. We are waiting for you. Okay. Finish, finish teacher. teacher. Good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. And finally, we have Karina and Suleyma. Okay. Hello, okay. Suleyma. Do you see the new packaging of the cookies? Hello, Karina. Yes, I see. It is the special design, the model state. Yes, and we are working in the advertising to increase sales in this season. That's good. I think we will have put a discount on May 10. I like that idea, but first we need to check the inventory. Uh, yes, and second, we need to coordinate the transportation to the stores. Yes, you're right. See you later. I see you. Only teach. Excellent, very good. Excellent, very, very good. Okay, so um, it seems like you guys understand the words. You can do it, no problems. Yeah? Everything is Okay, good. All right, so in that case, we're going to continue. I'm going to share my presentation and you tell me if you can see it. You see it? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, so now we're gonna go on to the next part. The next part, we're gonna be looking at the word enough, okay? We started seeing this a little bit yesterday. Oops. Okay. Yes, enough. Wait a second. Can you guys see it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to be, um, well, we started talking about the word enough yesterday when we were looking at the conversation. Um, it, 
and we're going to be learning a little bit more about this today. Okay, so enough, the word enough. Oh, by the way, guys, be careful the pronunciation. I know that this this right here it sounds like it's you're you're supposed to pronounce it like aug or something like that, but no, it's enough. The, the GH sounds like an F at the end. So it's enough. And it's not enough. It's enough. Enough. Okay. Enough. Um, yes. Very good. Um, okay. Um, so. Um, um, okay. So let's talk about this one. Enough. We can use the word enough as an adverb, okay? And when we use the word enough as an adverb, what we're saying is that it's, it's to the necessary degree. So it means it's more, it's, it's, it's what you need, okay? It's not more than you need, it's not less than you need, it's exactly what you need, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, no. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, teacher. All right. Um, good. So enough follows the adjective it modifies. Okay. So that's something that you also have to take into account that we are, we usually, usually, not all the time, but usually we use it after an adjective, okay? You guys remember what an adjectives are? Yes, teacher, yes. it's a qualify. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a word uh, that, yeah, qualifies or gives a characteristic, right? Yeah, um, so, we usually, not all the time, but usually, um, we use it after an adjective, okay? So whatever the adjective that we use, that's the word that we're gonna be modifying, okay? Um, and we can use it either in positive, sorry, in positive or negative sentences. Both are okay, okay? Example. The look of your online course front page is not professional enough. Okay, it's not professional enough. So notice here, the adjective is what? Professional. professional. Yes, professional. And the word enough comes after it, if you know it. Enough. Right? Okay. Then we have um, the package is user friendly enough. What is the adjective? Friendly. Not just friendly. User friendly user friendly okay user friendly okay and uh, what is user friendly by the way let's make sure we understand that what does it mean user friendly anybody know Amigable con el medio ambiente. Yeah, but let, let's let's explain it in English. Oh. It's like eco-friendly. Recicla. Mm, I think it's different, user-friendly. Yeah. With with eco-friendly. Mm -hmm. User-friendly okay. is more like easy to use. Exactly. User friendly is easy to use. That's exactly the word for it. So it means that anybody can use. 
okay? Even your grandmother, you know, um, you know, that is like 90 years old can use it. And, uh, a, you know, a five-year-old could use it as well. Okay. All right. Now, have you noticed uh, we also use the word enough at the end after the user friendly? So it means that it's, it's sufficient for the uh, user friendly or sufficiently easy to use. Then we have their product design is not competitive enough for a high end market. Okay, which is um, a, what is the, the adjective? Competitive. Exactly. The product design is not competitive. We have the word competitive. And after that, we use enough. So the product design is not competitive enough for a high end market. It doesn't always have to be at the end, right? In this case, it's like in the middle because we have a, a, um, a complement. Okay. Next. Our after sales services are good enough to improve the positioning of our product. What is the, um, the adjective? Is good. Good, exactly. And we notice that the word enough is right after the word good. So it's pretty clear, I think, right? First the adjective, then the word enough. So our sales uh, uh, um, services are good enough to improve this position of our product. Also notice, that we can use it both in affirmative and, and um, negative, right? For example, here is not, it's negative. Here it's positive. Here it's negative. Here it's positive, right? So we can use either one, okay? So here's negative. Here it's positive, here it's negative, and here it's positive. Okay. Got it? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Some more examples just so you get the idea. It says she let on she let up on the uh, accelerator long enough to gain control of the vehicle. Long enough. So it means the amount of length was enough, was sufficient. He was not strong enough to work on the farm like his brothers, but he loved books and study, okay? So not, not strong enough, it's negative, right? And we have here the word strong enough. And so it means that the, the strength was not sufficient. It was light enough to see a long way in the deserted street and it seemed more like a morning or evening that night. Okay, so it means that uh, the light was enough. Of course, she knew Alex well enough now to know that he didn't like people um, to hand out information about him. So here we have the word well. So it means that um, it's su sufficiently good because remember well is, uh, comes from good. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Great. Um, okay. So any questions before we go on? No questions before we move on? No, okay. All right. In that case, let's move on then. We're going to work on some exercises. Okay. See if you understand this. All right. So the exercises are this work in pairs. Describe the mobile brands below using an adjective plus the word enough. Share your answers with the class. Okay. So we have different brands here. Do you guys know these brands? 
Yes, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Pueden ver. Yes, okay. All right. Um, so, uh, so you guys, um, you have LG, we have Sony, Xperia, iPhone, and Samsung, right? Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to write a sentence for each one of these using the adjective plus the word enough. Okay. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, perfect. Let's go on then. We're gonna put you into pairs. Um, hold on in a moment. Okay. okay, and I'm going to give you about 10 minutes. Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Eh, José Rodrigo. José Rodrigo, Carolina. José Rodrigo. Okay, teacher. Okay. I think that it's it's correct. Okay. Enough. That's with the uh, LG brand, right? Um, yeah. The second brand is Sony Sony Xperia. Sony Xperia. And for mm. example, the new Sony TV, TV, Sony, sorry, Sony TV is big right now for the family. Yes. We can say, um, let me think a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, 
we want to buy the Sony Xperia, yeah? Yes. The Sony Xperia, I don't know. Um, we have to invent a literal number. Uh, M14, okay. I don't know which is this model, but it doesn't matter. Um, we want to buy the Sony Xperia M14, but, but Mm. But there is not enough money. Mm. Um. But I don't have enough money. No. But I don't have enough. I don't have stuff. Mm. Um, I don't have enough money. No tengo suficiente dinero. Podría decir que sí. Que enough es como... We want to buy a sanitaria, but I don't have enough money. Then, then other washing machine. long, long, long duration than other washing machines. Than others, than others, washing machines. Okay, we have the first number two. Number two. Entonces quedaría el is good in a washing machine in light because alone very quality long. Ah, yo yo lo escribí como because those washing machines 
has better quality. Ah, vol and... volvió, a, volvió a poner washing machine. Ajá. O creo que... Como ya lo teníamos, washing machine lights. Entonces lo dejamos como because it has, como it. Because, because, because it has. Porque son, de muy, porque son de muy buena calidad y okay. larga duración. Ok, because it has better quality and long duration than other washing machines. Mm -hmm. Very quality. Long. Okay. Duration. Ok. The second is Sony Expedia. Sony Expedia mm -hmm. is... Mm, television. Oh. No, it's eh, a cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Uh -huh. Igual que iPhone. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, sí. el hecho también es cell phone. Rocío. Son, son oh. de móviles, no son de... Nos equivocamos. Todos son cell phones. O sea, sí, yo creo que sí, pero... Porque habla de móvil. Si lee, la de, describe the mobile brands without using... Mm. O sea, que está hablando de, de móviles, o sea, está hablando... Pero podríamos decir que no son buenas, al principio, ¿verdad? En la del G, que no son buenas para, que no es tan bueno en la más línea de celulares, pero sí es bueno para, uh -huh. para, la, para las otras. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, pero ya me fijé que todos son, son, son marcas de, bueno, de hay también ajá, de celulares, porque iPhone, Samsung. Uh -huh. Yo tuve un LG uh -huh. y hoy tengo un iPhone, entonces, pero el, el LG es, mm, uh, es no, smartphone, no. es un smartphone, ¿no? uh -huh. es un uh -huh. smartphone. Ay, está mi perrito. <risa> <risa> ya está desesperado. Ay, sí. LG phones are not good enough. Benji. LG phones are not good enough. Ah, es que vamos a usar los negativos también, vea. Vaya, lo, lo puse así, para que ocupemos. Mm -hmm. Lo que habíamos escrito. Okay. Uh, ILT phones are not good enough. But this brand is good enough in washing machine lines. Because it has better quality and long duration than other washing machines. Okay. Okay. ¿Y puede compartir usted? Uh, sí, o se lo puedo mandar por, por WhatsApp. Ajá, por WhatsApp. Sí. Uh -huh. Bye. Este, ya lo voy a buscar. Veamos lo del de el otro, el de, el de Sony oh, si Spen. Si quiere repartámonos porque ya no hay tiempo. No uh -huh. sé si quiere el de Sony, el de iPhone o Samsung. Para que hagamos uno y uno. Vale. Y iPhone. el otro son entre en las dos. Vale. Baby. <ríe> Faltan cinco days. Okay. No. Size. No. no We didn't finish. No teacher. No. No. We didn't finish. Okay. I'll continue working then. Okay. Thank you. Ahí va a buscar de iPhone. Hi guys. You see me? Hi teacher. Hi. I 
just connected right now. Right. And I don't know what is the um uh, tarea. I yeah. uh, Jose Rodrigo, are you there? Rodrigo? He's having problems with the internet. Jose Rodrigo? No? Mm, okay. All right. Well, anyways, it's almost time for us to be leaving. Um, what were we, uh, I'm going to show you the PowerPoint so you can see. So the exercise says here, uh, we were going to work in pairs. Uh, describe the mobile brands below using an adjective plus an enough, and then share your answers with the class. So, um, we were learning, did, were you here when we talked about using the word enough? Um, no, I don't know, did you? Were, were you here when I explained about enough? No. No, okay. All right, so I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll take the time there to, right now while we're waiting for the other groups, we'll, I'll just explain. Um, okay, so enough. Enough is an adverb. Okay. Okay. So we use it as an adverb. Um, give me a moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, we use it as an adverb and it means, hold on. And it means to the necessary degree. So it means um, that it's sufficient. Okay, it's, it's not more than you need. It's not less than you need. It's just right where you need it. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we usually um, do this uh, using um, after an adjective. Okay, so we use an adjective and then the word enough. Okay? Okay. All right. And we can either use it as positive or negative meanings. Okay, like for example, in this sentence, the, the look of your online course front page is not professional enough. So we have the word professional, which is the adjective. The package is user-friendly enough. User-friendly is the adjective and user-friendly means easy to use. Okay. Okay. Their product design is not competitive enough for a high end, end market. So here the, the adjective is competitive. The, that's the word, the word that we are um, that we are describing, that we're modifying. Our after sales services are good enough to improve the position of our product. Here we're using the word good. Okay, so we're that's the adjective we are modifying. And if you notice, all of them use the word enough after the adjective. So we have enough enough, enough, and enough. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay. And um, yeah, so we use this, and, and if you notice, we can also, we can use it uh, for uh, affirmative or negatives. Like for example, this one is negative, is not. This one's affirmative. This one's negative. This one's affirmative. Okay. Used in both ways. So it means when you say um, is not enough, it means that it's not sufficient. It's the opposite. So enough means it's right there, right? It's not more, it's not less. And, um, and uh, not enough means that it's less than you need. Okay. Okay. It's not uh, Sufficient? Sufficient, it's not sufficient. sufficient. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Yes, uh, it... All right, so she led up on the accelerator long enough. So that's another example to gain control of the vehicle. He was not strong enough to work on the farm like his brother, but he loved books and study. Um, it was light enough to see a long way 
in the deserted street and it seemed more like morning or evening that night. So here we have also as well um, the, yeah, it says, and then finally, of course, she knew Alex well enough now to know that he didn't like people to hand out information about him. So if you notice, again, we have the adjectives we have here long enough, strong enough, light enough, well enough. Okay. Okay. And then here, um, after them, we have enough, right? So it means that it was it was sufficient. It was more, or better say, it was it, the length was sufficient. Here, the strength was sufficient. Here, the lighting was sufficient. Oh no! Okay. Here, sorry. The here the strength wasn't enough. That's why it, it was not sufficient. Here, the strength was not sufficient. Here, the lighting was enough. Here, it was the the goodness, right, or the level of good was sufficient. Okay. Okay, teacher. Any questions? Um, no, no. So it sounds pretty clear for you? Yes, yes, Lich. All right. So what we were doing right now, which I think um, people are pretty much finished now, uh, what we were doing with this was we were going to be practicing using the word enough. So like this, right? It says work in pairs, describe the mobile brands below using an adjective as enough. So here we have the brands, LG, Sonia, Xperia, iPhone, Samsung, right? Okay. okay. And then you had to make sentences about these, um, these products using adjective plus enough. That's what we're okay. going to do. Okay? Great. Okay. All right. But anyways, um, it's pretty much time. So uh, we're going to return to the breakout rooms. Sorry, to the main room. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, good. Save those sentences because we're not going to be, um, we're not going to be checking the sentences right now. We'll check the sentences later, okay? So right now, uh, let me just take attendance. By the way, today, um, Carla, we have the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? Carla, tengo Carla. Yes. Ahí está. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly take attendance. We have Annie. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Maria. Carolina. Present. Emily. Present. Hazel. Joanna? Present teacher. Jorge? Karina? Present. Carla? Present teacher. Santiago? Linda? Marlene? Present. Miguel? Present. Nelson? Present. Norma? Present, teacher. Olga? 
Present teacher. Rocio. Pre present. Yes, present. Rodríguez. Present. Tatiana. Present teacher. Nelson uh, A. Omar. Present. Suleima Melgar. Jose Rodrigo. Present. All right. Okay, guys. So that will be it. I will see you guys Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy yourselves and recharge those batteries. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Good evening, bro. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night. ¿Está costando salir, Nelson? Ahorita, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Está bien. Happy night. Okay, good night. Okay, Carla, ¿qué tal? Bien, cansada, teacher. <laughs> ah, ay, sí, horrible. Es que... ¿Te ha es... pasado? ¿Ah? Sí, es que mi mami no está, ha estado de viaje durante 15 días y entonces me ha tocado hacerme cargo de mi casa, de su casa, porque um, con ella vive un uh, hermano de mi abuela, pero él es como un niño, uh, tiene como retraso. ¿verdad? Entonces eh, tengo que ir a darle desayuno, almuerzo, o sea, le, le dejo el almuerzo, llego a darle cena a él, al perrito, um, limpio su casa, vengo a limpiar la mía, cocino, y así ha sido básicamente 15 días. Regresa hasta el lunes, todavía. Wow, ok. Sí, entonces, o sea, ella vive en otra casa. Sí, sí, ya, ya no vivo con ella. Yo uh, vivo con mi esposo y mi hija. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces, pero como ella se fue y no había quien se hiciera cargo de, de el perro de, de chamba, porque así, así le dicen, se llama Salvador. Entonces, um, pues me tocó a mi vida. Entonces, ajá, en la mañana me levanto, paso dejando a mi hija en la casa, le dejo el desayuno a ella, a chamba, a mi abuelo, porque mi abuelo llega a quedarse con ellos un rato. Um, ya dejo uniforme planchado. Um, le dejo refrigerio a mi hija, dejo lo del almuerzo y me voy a trabajar. Salgo a las seis, regreso a la casa, le doy de comer a chamba, al perro, la niña llega del colegio, regreso a mi casa, cocino, cenamos y básicamente son mis días. Ah. Eh, me toca pesadito. Sí, un poco complicado, pero ah, espero ya el lunes se termina. Ok. Sí, poquito ah, falta. Poquito. Sí, solo el fin de semana. Bueno, y el lunes durante el día. La felicito porque se sigue conectando, ¿verdad? A pesar que sigue, que está cansadita y todo, ¿verdad? Yo sé que sí, es un sí. esfuerzo, pero vale la pena. Sí, hoy me agarro la tarde, entre tarde. Todavía <risa> venía de hacer unas cosas y ah, venía corriendo. <risa> Lo importante es de que se conecta, ¿verdad? Eso es lo importante, ¿verdad? Es cierto, a veces tal vez no nos salen las cosas como uno quiere, pero ahí está. ¿verdad? Así que está ahorita tratando de ver su, su um, conexión y solamente un día, ¿verdad? Faltado. Sí, un día. Ajá, está bien, excelente, muy bien. Sí, eh, así que vamos con muy buen camino. Me voy en camino. Cuénteme, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué preguntas tiene usted? Uh, sobre los temas que hemos estado viendo hasta ahorita, la verdad es que no. Creo que um, he logrado como irlos entendiendo um, en, el, en el momento de la clase. Entonces siento que no, no me ha costado como que tanto entenderlo. Ah, gracias a Dios, todavía. <risa> Ajá. Eh, Sí, lo que tal vez sí le iba a preguntar 
es que, um, que me recomienda como para enriquecer un poquito más el vocabulario, porque a veces creo que como que por ahí es donde um, a veces tengo como un poco de problema. Uh -huh. Entiendo. Ok, um, bueno. ¿Usted lee? Mm, no mucho, porque realmente no me queda mucho tiempo. Okay. Pero puedo tratar de hacer un hábito, um, tal vez a la hora de la comida. Ok. Ok. Sí, eh, definitivamente la lectura es buenísima. La recomiendo mucho, mucho, porque en la lectura se aprenden eh, estructuras, ¿verdad? Porque usted ve cómo es que... Uh, ¿Cómo es que...? Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? El orden de... Uh -huh, de... Exacto, exacto. ¿Cómo es que, que se estructuran las palabras, pero en las oraciones? Eh, puede verlo en contexto, ¿verdad? O sea, en verídico, ¿verdad? Algo que, eh, que se utiliza en, en, en el diario vivir. Um, y también otra cosa que se aprende es mucho vocabulario. Uh -huh. uh, entonces, uh, sí, es, es, es importante. Es importante. Uh -huh. uh, uh, eh, pero claro, tiene que también ser algo que sea fácil para ustedes leer y que le interese. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que le interesa? Um, fíjese que como nunca he sido mucho de leer, pero sí me llaman uh, como la atención cosas así como de ciencia ficción. Um, me recomendaron, y no sé, tal vez haga el tiempo de leerlo, el libro de Jane Eyre, creo que se llama. Ah, no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Pero, ajá, me recomendaron ese libro y dije, sí, lo voy a leer, pero no he comenzado. Ok, ok. ¿Cómo se llama, dice? Es que no me acuerdo, Jane, y yo no me acuerdo, pero, pero es un libro. Sí, es una novela. Pero no puedes. Sí, es esta. Se lo voy a escribir porque no sé si lo conoce bien. Es como una novela romántica, creo. Y lo descargué el libro la vez pasada, pero no lo he empezado a leer. ¿Cómo se llama? En línea. Uh -huh. En línea. Mm, ok. Ok. Um, ok. Y entonces, um, ¿usted lo, lo tiene um, en mi teléfono? Perfecto. Sí, lo descargué. Ajá. Porque si lo tiene en su teléfono es más fácil para usted poder um, uh -huh. eh, hacer como el hábito. Ajá, cabal, porque, por ejemplo, no sé, ah, Jane Eyre. Uh -huh. Sí, está, o sea, Jane Eyre es buenísimo, o sea, pero no sé, porque la, la, la original, la, la versión original, Puede ser un tantito complicada porque es, es Old English. Entonces, o sea, no sé, o sea, no sé qué versión tiene usted, ¿verdad? Porque, um, pero sí, es, es buenísimo. Es, una, un, un, es, es, es un clásico. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, así que, ¿sabe lo que le puedo sugerir? Para entenderla mejor, vea la película. Okay. Vea la película. Bueno, de hecho, hay, hay varias películas. 
eh, puede leer, ajá, puede ver la película um, y creo que le, le así por lo que tiene una idea de lo que está pasando y se le va a hacer más fácil. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ok. O sea, va, es, es un spoiler, ¿verdad? Pero... <risa> de lo que voy a leer. <risa> ah, de lo que voy a leer, ¿verdad? Pero sí, eh, por lo menos, o sea, por lo menos ahí ya se va guiando porque sí, eh, como es un clásico y todo, puede ser que tenga palabras ahí que, que no son muy comunes, que le puede confundir un poco, pero si ya tiene una idea de qué se trata, más uh -huh. más. Más fácil, ok. Sí, es un drama romántico, sí. Uh -huh. Así que si le gustan los dramas románticos, ahí. <risa> también. <risa> ok, perfecto, sí. Eso okay. es lo que puedo sugerir. Um, otra cosa, cuando hay palabras que que usted no entienda, eh, que nuevas, escríbalas. Uh -huh. Cuaderno, escríbalas, pero no solo se, se limita a escribirla, eh, escriba una oración con esta palabra, para que usted vaya utilizándola, porque, o sea, saber una palabra no solamente verla y decir, ah, sí significa esta cosa, porque eso se, se, se olvida fácilmente. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero si uno está constantemente um, recordando o, o, o haciendo uso de la palabra, se va, se, se va a hacer más fácil, lo va a recordar. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Okay? Uh -huh. ok. Eso le puedo sugerir. Eh, no sé si hay alguna otra cosa, alguna otra inquietud que tenga. No, Pichar, la verdad es que se entiende en las clases. Ok. Okay. Uh -huh. Bueno, cualquier cosa cuando usted no entienda algo, no, no, no dude de pararme, ¿no? Porque, porque va a decir, ay, pero es que va, que va a decir los demás. No, 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 usted párame. Y, y... Ah, no, dicho, yo no tengo ese problema. Exacto, exacto. Ah, sí, no, pues sí, es lo que siempre le digo a mi hija. Mire, uno mejor es de quedarte metiche, preguntó, a quedar uno en la ignorancia, le digo. Correcto, porque eh, la. Si uno se queda con esa duda, la duda se queda para todo el día. ¿Sí? Entonces, y no va a ir mejorando. Entonces, por eso de que hay que preguntar. Es más, o sea, muy probablemente otro compañero diga, ay, qué bueno que preguntó. Cabal. <risa> <risa> no, pero no, por eso sí no se preocupe. Yo, así le digo siempre a mi hija, o sea, cuando tengo una duda, pregunte, aunque los demás no hayan entendido, porque lo que interesa es que usted también lo aprenda. Uh -huh. Cabal. Perfecto. Eh, ¿Alguna pregunta, otra preguntita que tenga? No, por el momento no, Pichi. ¿Mm? Ok. Perfecto. Bueno, entonces la dejo ahí para que descanse porque es noche eh, y, y merezco después de tanto, tanto. Ay, sí, me llama a la cama. Sí. <risa> ok. Ok. Eh, um, pase buenas noches. Y Gracias, y... igual. Un buen fin de semana. Gracias, igualmente. Nos vemos el lunes, primero días. Nos vemos el lunes. Ok. <risa> Bye.